handle. Too hot to handle your battle. You're saying goodbye like Devin Campbell. Fuck that. What? I was just calling you. That's me, don't get that. It's uh, 1995. I'm sorry? Your order? Oh, of course. It's how much? 1995. Keep it. Thank you, ma'am. What's up? I didn't give you a very good tip, did I? You'll have to forgive me. My mind is simply elsewhere tonight. What's your name, pizza boy? Uh, Jonathan. Your friends call you Jonathan? Never John? Well, Lynchy, actually. My last name's Lynch. I see. Well, listen, Lynchy. I'm completely out of cash. But you are clearly a hard worker who deserves proper compensation. Why don't you come by after your shift tonight and I'll make sure that you're taken care of. That sounds like something I could do. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, man, she wants to bone me. She does not want to bone you, come on. Dude, you weren't there, you don't know how she was acting. Why would some hot, rich, older chick want to have sex with you? Either you're lying and she's ugly, or you completely misread the situation. Okay, she's not ugly. That kind of shit happens, dude. She's probably just bored. Oh yeah, because you would be her first choice of booty call. I'm a great booty call, okay? Older women oh, are just way more attuned to my unique sensibilities. What are you talking about? Unique sensibilities? Lynchy, you're an idiot. High school girls know it, college girls know it, and hot older MILFs most certainly know it. Dude, I think I'm gonna go back there. Yeah, right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it, man, I am. No, you're not. I know you're not. You're gonna go home, get high, play video games, watch reruns of CSI Miami, pass out just like you do every night. Fuck you, man, I'm going. I wasn't sure you'd show. Here I am. Do you come in? Please have a seat. Can I fix you a drink? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm Manhattan, if you don't mind. Straight up. You want a Manhattan? Yes. Okay. This is quite the house, Mrs. Ives. Oh, please, call me Marilyn. So do you live here by yourself, Marilyn? No. Oh, so do you? I have a husband, if that's what you're asking. But he is currently indisposed. Word. <laughs> Who is this? Stan Getz. Do you like jazz? Oh, I love it. It's all I listen to. Thanks. Mm. Yeah, I had a feeling this is a little Getzy. 
I wouldn't take you as a jazz man. Most people don't. I guess you could say I have unique sensibilities. I sense that immediately. Really? Oh, I almost forgot your tip. It's on the table over there. Go ahead. Oh, bad ass. Careful, Lynchy. It's loaded. Sorry. Really? Is this our? I'm sorry. Will you excuse me? Sorry about that. Oh, no worries. What have you got there? The old man, the sea. Mm. One of my favorites. Ah, yes. I adore Hemingway. <laughs> Do you imagine catching a fish that big? <laughs> I bet that old guy ate nothing but fish for like three months afterwards. He probably got pretty sick of it. Didn't the sharks devour it all? Did they? I don't remember. It's kind of the point of the whole story. I uh, actually didn't uh, finish it. I'm sorry, I, I don't even like books. Or jazz music, or Manhattans. I just want to sound smart. Oh, Lynchy. You don't have to like those things to impress me. What do you like? Honestly? Smoking pot and playing Mario mm -hmm. Kart. And CSI. CSI Miami, CSI Portland, CSI Tulsa. Pretty much all the CSIs. <laughs> A man with simple tastes. There's something profound in that. You think I'm dumb, don't you? No. Yes, you do. Everyone thinks I'm dumb. Mm. I'm fucking out of BCC, so I guess they're right. I don't think you're dumb. I think you have unique sensibilities. I have to make a phone call. If you insist. Hey, idiot. Uh, I need a favor. Dude, I'm busy, man. B5. Dude, I went to the lady's house and it's on. Wait, you actually went? C3. I went and I was right. She's DTF. Super DTF. I said C3. Balls. Dude, that's awesome. You sunk the little one. Yeah, except I don't have any condoms. Why not? I forgot them. That was like the one thing that you needed to bring. I was really high when I left my house, okay? Just ask the lady, I'm sure she has some. Dude, I don't wanna ask her, she already knows I don't like books. What do you want me to do? Bring me some condoms. I'm busy, man. Please, Aaron, please, this is big shit for me. E5. <laughs> you suck at this game. <sighs> All right, I'll be right over. You're the man. It's 212 Maple. Call me when you're here. Holy shit! 
tits. Oh no, oh, dude. Fuck, dude. What do I do? 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 Oh man, wake up, man. Oh fuck, dude. Mm. Okay, okay, calm down, Mitchie. Calm down, Mitchie. Calm down. Listen, Mary, some pressing shit just came up. I really ought to. Yes, ma'am. Gah, stop it. It's hard time. I. Oh, mama. Oh, God. Oh, no. My husband's home. Your husband? Oh, God. This is bad. You have to hide. Quick. What the balls is going on? Hi, honey. <laughs> what the hell is this? It's for you, darling. I'm happy you're home. I'm not supposed to be back till tomorrow. You messing around on me again? Oh, no, baby. I swear I'm... Shut up! Stop it, you monster! Hussy, you filthy <laughs> drumpet! <laughs> oh! Shenanigans! No! Snap! Ah. Get off me, you bastard! What do you mean he isn't here? Do you see him? Hey, sarcasm isn't helpful. That little twerk has to run off. Wait a minute. He touched the gun. The real gun. We have his prints. New plan. You take the fake gun and get out of here. I'll handle the rest. It's gonna be fine. I love you. I love you. Yes, I'd like to report a murder. My, my husband was shot. Yes, I'm all right. 212 Maple Avenue. Please, come quick. Lynchy, thank God you're all right. My husband, he attacked me and I didn't know what to do and so I- What the shit is going on? He's dead. My husband is dead. Oh no, Lynchy, you'll tell them, won't you? You'll tell them that he attacked me. You and I both know he was dead before I got here. Well, how do you know that? I saw him in your closet. Why were you in my closet? I forgot to bring a condom and I didn't want to ask you. I them. have condoms. You could have asked me. It was right after the Hemingway thing. Stop it! Listen, I demand to know what this shit is all about. I shot my husband. Boo hoo. One less asshole in this world. Now listen. You're gonna go along with my story or I will tell the police that you did it. I'll just leave. I have your hat. Shit. Come to think of it, your prints are on the gun. Oh, shit. <laughs>
Wait, who was just here? Oh, my boyfriend. Yeah. You don't really think I have unique sensibilities, do you? No, I think you're an idiot. What if he wasn't killed here? What if he was killed someplace else? Wait! You moved the body! The police will be able to tell the body was moved! So? I'll just tell them that you did that too. Shit! I donate a lot of money to this community, Lynchy. You're just a burnout loser. There's no way they're gonna believe your story over mine. I found him! I found your little pizza boy. He was hanging around out. Who the hell's that? Who's that? Eric! Here's your condoms, asshole. What the hell is going on? This lady's trying to frame me for murder! I knew she didn't want to bone you. You had your friend come over and bring you condoms? You seriously could have just asked me. Marilyn, focus. What are we going to do now? Nothing changes. You and this young man are going to leave, and Lynch is going to corroborate my story. What the fuck kind of shit did you get into? Aren't you Lynchy? Take these blood patterns. That ain't normal. Wait, the blood splatters! What are you talking about? Wherever you shot them, will be flecks of blood on the wall. The police would be able to tell us someone my height couldn't have shot your husband. How the hell does he know that? I watch way too much CSI. He really does. Fine. Then I'll just have to kill you too! Well, wait a minute, hun! Did you tell anyone that you were coming here? Babe, maybe we should think about this for a- Uh... Yeah. I told him. Ah! Ah! Oh! Shit! Oh, come on! What is wrong with you? My girlfriend knows I'm here! Oh! I'm getting out of here. What? I'm sorry, baby. This is fucked. My shoulder! All right, then, go! Now what are you gonna do? I'll say that you did that too. Forget the blood spatters. You're done, lady. It's over. Oh! I am not. I am Marilyn Ives. Damn it! And they will listen to me! You are a devil woman! That's what you are! Ah. This fucking hurts! Shut up! Stop being a baby! This is the last time I will ever do any favors for you again! I'm sorry, man! You are such an idiot! Catch. Here they are, officers! They're the killers! Drop the gun, scumbags! <gasps> came back with a friend. I think they wanted to rape me. That would explain all the condoms. I'm telling you, man, this bitch is crazy. That bitch is a respected member of this community. Your situation doesn't look good. I thought she was DTF. What's that? Never mind. Listen. I told you all I know, man. Okay. Gunpowder residue. You still think she's just an innocent school teacher? Because I don't. Wait! Gunpowder. Gunpowder? Yeah. You can test for gunpowder on her hands. I held the gun, but she's the only one that fired it. That's it. Of course. Testing for gunpowder. Hey, do we have a kit to test for gunpowder residue? Do we? I don't know. It seems like we would. Yeah, you would think, right? 
Bingo. Hey, Gleason. We just picked up one Timothy Cantor, known associate of Ives. We searched his car and found a prop gun loaded with blanks. Weird, huh? Well, check this out. It's a kit that tests for gunpowder residue. <laughs> I, I didn't even know we had this. I think the jig is up, ma'am. I just gotta figure out how this works first. Once again, Mr. Lynch, I can't tell you how sorry we are. No worries, man. Shit happens. That was some clever thinking in there. It takes a man with some unique sensibilities to piece together a case like that. You really think so? Sure do. You should think about becoming a detective. Detective Lynchy. It looks like this one bit off a little bit more than she could screw. I could definitely get into that. <laughs> He's right, you know. That was some pretty smart shit you did back there. Hey, thanks, man. That means a lot. Hey. Uh, when we get back to our cars, you want to drive me to the hospital? I'm still sort of bleeding a lot. Word. Yeah, want to roll one first? Uh, yeah, I think we can squeeze that in. There's a taco place on the way to the ER. Ah, word. Ow! I looked up this morning. <laughs> How about him, boys? Rock and roll! It's more than a feeling.